Welcome everyone. This is a very important video where we will take up the thread that I left 14 days ago when I talked about the singularity and how AI is now taking over the world on an exponential curve. Guess what happened a few days ago? I will share my screen to show you proof of that, which is pretty amazing. Here's a tweet of Elon Musk saying the following, we are on the event horizon of the singularity. And as you see, Elon said that very profound statement on February 24th. On February 7th, I released a video, here's the link up here, where I talked about the exact same thing. And I said, the singularity, the AI singularity has been triggered. And we are in the middle of it when no one really realized it. Now, what is the singularity and why is this probably the most profound thing we will hear in our lifetimes? I'm not exaggerating. This is very, very big news. And we have to understand how fundamentally transformative this is. The singularity is a concept that I interpret a little bit different from other people as a point in time where the intelligence of the AI exceeds human intelligence, but more importantly, where it starts to self-improve. So the AI can now look at itself, its own code and start self-improving. That is a breakthrough that was easily demonstrated by a normal user using DeepSeek R1 just very recently, a few weeks ago. And we know that OpenAI, we know that Grok, we know that all the other guys are already doing that. They're applying AI to improve itself. That is a very important point in time because it means the exponential trajectory of AI has now officially been starting and going into an extreme, extreme virtual cycle. Maybe it's not that virtuous, but a virtuous cycle in terms of technological power and capability of the AI. It's going through the roof. And this, what happens next, is something of fundamental importance to human civilization, our personal lives the economy, politics, everything you can imagine. And the most important thing about this is, as you know, there's this old saying that humans are bad at projecting exponential trajectories. Our brains are not necessarily made for that. I think my brain at this point is made for it because I have no problem thinking in that. I think that applies to some other people too. But the majority still thinks linearly. They have a very hard time wrapping their intuition about the world, their world simulator, around exponential curves. And these exponential curves are now happening on a massive, massive scale. And that means things are gonna happen in the next five years that normally we cannot imagine. So let me go into some details and explain why this is very important. Now, what it means that we have reached the singularity and that AI is now self-improving every week, getting better, getting exponentially better, getting exponentially better at getting better, we saw Claude, for example, the latest iteration being tremendously powerful in coding. And then Grok comes along and then OpenAI. And every few weeks, this is getting better and better. What this means is, in the beginning, let's talk about jobs because that affects all of us or most of us. I predict that in the next 36 months, all non-physical jobs will be gone. And I'm talking all white collar jobs from doctors to accountants to management consultants to financial people to everything you can imagine that is non-physical. So not nurses for now, not bus drivers for now. That's a whole different topic, but they will be gone. And with gone, what I mean is not that everyone will be unemployed, but no one will get a new job. All newly created jobs will be taken over by AI. And incrementally, everyone will lose their job. That's exactly what I mean. And I think in latest three years, there will be no conventional job that we think of as a job where you provide labor and get paid for it. None of these jobs will be left in the non-physical world. On the physical side of things, the farm workers, the nurses, and all these other jobs, the manufacturing people in the manufacturing sites, you know, at the conveyor belts, their jobs will be gone 36 months after that, these 36 months, so within five to six years. All these jobs will be gone too, and they will be taken over by robots. And I know there will be a debate and say, like, oh, Joe, you're, you're, you're probably exaggerating. Believe me, in three years, no one will say I was wrong. Of course, there will be some jobs left, but everyone will agree I was right that effectively all jobs 
have been eliminated by AI. Now, most people today do not understand that and they do not share my view on that. Most politicians would say I'm crazy. What they don't understand are exponential curves. How do you justify employing a doctor, a human doctor, if AI does their job a thousand times better? The human doctor will be considered killing people because they're so much worse than AI in three years, probably in, in 12 months. But in three years, it will be official. It will be completely irresponsible to have humans in the loop with everything that matters. And most jobs matter one way or the other. So this is a big problem. And that has massive repercussions, as you can imagine, on the entire economy, on how people make money, what people learn, what education is, on family formation, on everything, on national states, on nation states. And the physical jobs will follow very shortly thereafter. Now, why do most people think I'm wrong on that? Because they think linearly. They think, well, AI and SaaS computing replace a bunch of jobs. Sure, sure, Gen Z has huge problems finding new jobs just because of SaaS and software. Sure, AI makes this a little worse. Maybe it makes it double, twice as bad or three times as bad. No, this is an exponential curve. It makes it three times as bad this year, nine times as bad next year, 27 times as bad the year after, and that means it's over. So human, humans and societies, the way we live together, the way we organize value creation, which is everything that matters, will fundamentally change. People get it wrong. They don't understand how serious it is. That is, Elon Musk is now on my page. By the way, I said it 14 days before Elon, so watch my channel if you want to know these things a little early. 14 days in the future will be considered an eternity. The implications, besides all jobs being lost, I'm an economist, so I will tell you an economics perspective. There's an old formula in economics that value equals capital times labor times technology. That formal formula will completely change. Instead of capital times labor times technology, now labor is capital. Now technology is capital, which means in the future, all value creation will be a function of capital and a new variable that's being introduced. And that variable is knowledge. The only job that will be left for humans to do, and the one job that machines could take over but will not take over because that would be very bad, is what I call reality engineering. All humans have to become reality engineers, the only job left. And a reality engineer sees reality as it is, envisions a better reality, accumulates capital and organizes capital so this future reality that's more desirable for humans comes to be. That is the engineering of reality. And of course, that capital is deployed to employ AI and robots to make this new reality happen. That is the new core of all human economics. And this is the one job we all have to learn to do very well. Of course, many won't. But the ones who will, the ones who become the best reality engineers, they will own the future, all of it, without exception. And the art of reality engineering has something to do with knowledge and skills, with predicting the future, with influencing the future. I will go into that much more on this channel. But it also has to do with aggregating, accumulating, and pooling capital. Now, one important side aspect, I just reported on the German election. I predicted the US election with 100% accuracy, by the way, 312 electoral votes. You can look it up. But politics and nation states, they also will be replaced now. Because in this new age, the human capability becomes enormous thanks to AI and robots. And in this case, you create a power vacuum, right? The box in that human civilization is normally boxed where all the power is tightly distributed, is now exploding to the upside. There's much more you can do. It opens up the race to fill that power vacuum. That creates a lot of problems. These problems will be filled with the people who are best in assuming more power. And the people who do that are by definition capital pools. So some people said, including me, nation states will be replaced by corporations who will rule the world, which is a very dark future, but that's the prediction. That is actually not totally accurate because what are corporations? Corporations are just a subset of capital pools. That's why some people say the banks run the world, but the banks don't own the capital. So they control a lot of capital, but this will also change in the future because we are not dumb. Capital ultimately is owned by humans, 
Humans will understand that more and more. They will pool their capital and they will form communities around these pooled capital, the capital pools. And these communities will have shared values and shared objectives. And humans will wake up to what very rich humans have woken up a long time ago. They will wake up that we, you and me, we have a lot of power. We have a lot of power in the form of capital. And if we don't have enough capital, we can just pool the capital with other people who are like-minded. That ability to pool capital, share values, and deploy it and become reality engineers will be the single most important component of future power. All of humanity will be basically dissectable in these pools of capital that will form very rapidly. That's my prediction. Maybe lots of humans will not participate because they don't get it. But that doesn't matter. The ones that will, they will take over. They will replace nation states. They will control corporations and they will form interest groups. And some of them will be nice and good. Some of them will be dumb and irresponsible and greedy. And some of them will be wise and be all of the good things combined. And they will own the biggest part of the future. Now, as you can tell, this is a new concept, but I'm 100% sure I am correct. The future will be controlled by capital pools. The capital pools that can generate the most value and grow their capital the most and attract the best humans to actually have governed capital pools that are very effective will win. They will own the largest share of the future. Shares of the future will be more valuable than shares of the present because the future will be constructed at that rapid pace, exponentially rapid pace. So what is the strategy? Well, on this channel, we are trying to make this happen. We are actually making it happen. We already have a capital pool of over $200 million in Tesla shares among our group on X, the reality engineers. There are no fees, of course. We are doing this for ourselves here. And I think we can get to much more. The goal is to get to a billion dollars in Q2 this year. So but before July, to have a billion dollars under management, which just means jo more people joining who own and control Tesla shares. And our job is to make our money grow faster than most other money or all other money that is deployed in a targeted way. And from there, we go from there. We learn to engineer reality. And the first step of engineering reality is to predict it accurately and translate these predictions around Tesla into share appreciation and smart trades. That is our proof point that we are not dummies, that we can actually predict the future accurately. So this is the big arc here. And now Elon is on the same page as us too. Elon also understands the singularity has happened, the event horizon, the point in time where it's very hard to predict the future has happened because of the exponential increase. The world is going to change fundamentally and rapidly. I'm currently on a little Europe tour and meet a lot of people who don't get it. Very interesting about Europe. A little behind. Some states, small Baltic states, small Nordic states, Iceland, you know, they get it. I think they're in good shape. Bigger states like Germany terrible shape. Italy, terrible shape. They do not understand anything I'm saying here, most of them, because we have a lot of German and European viewers here. So you guys get it, but you know the problem in your own countries. Very important that we follow the strategy to pool our capital, form the reality engineering group. Things are about to get extremely serious, extremely accelerated. And we have to learn not to waste our time with people who are hopelessly lost behind. Once we make it, we can save them. That's a very good plan. But it's very important to not waste our time too much with people who are completely lost and argue about extremely stupid things because we need to be focused right now. So please join the group. I will cover this topic, of course, much more. My main focus on this channel is threefold. Number one, how do we implement these Tesla trades and, and predict the future around Tesla as accurately as possible for maximum alpha? Second, how do we keep track of that whole AI singularity revolution and the big picture? And third, what do we do about politics in our countries? That will be important. So I hope that was helpful. Much more coming very soon. I hope you stay tuned. Subscribe because now things will accelerate. Go on X, follow me there, join the group. It's in the description. And I hope to see you very soon.